Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to review and demo and swatch and do all the things with the brand new from Nicole Guerrero and Anastasia Beverly Hills, their brand new glow kit. This beauty right here says Nicole Guerrero at the bottom, Anastasia Beverly Hills. You open it up, there's no mirror, but I'm okay with that. And you have six brand new, amazingly pigmented shades. This palette will set you back $40 and is available on Sephora.com and Anastasia Beverly Hills.com. I don't think it's anywhere else, but check and make sure. It is out online right now, but it will be in stores March 15th at Sephora. Now, some stores are already having it out. I got mine at an early release. This is the second time I filmed this video because the first one I filmed at night and I just didn't feel like you could really see the colors that well. So we did round two. When I first saw this palette, it heavily reminded me of the Ultimate Glow Kit, and I was so scared I almost didn't want to buy this because the Ultimate Glow Kit for me was too glittery, too chunky. I didn't like the colors. I felt like they were way too similar, but I went ahead and got this anyway in hopes that it was a different formula, and it is. It does contain little micro glitters in there, and it will add some texture to your skin, but it's not horrible. So it's kind of, it's not as smooth as the original glow kits, but it is not as chunky as the ultimate glow kit. So it's going to be up to you. I'm in my 30s. I don't love texture on my skin because I have fine lines. I would I don't say I have wrinkles, but I have fine lines and I definitely have pores. But I have two of the shades on right now and I don't think they're too bad. Definitely add some texture, but not horrible. So for me, this is more of like a nighttime, evening time palette. I will definitely get my use out of it. I love the colors. I think they're a little bit more original in here, but I'm not going to wear it during the day, like out to the park in the sunlight. It's just going to add a little bit too much for me. It's a little bit more texture than what the Extra Dimension Skin Finish. That's my favorite from MAC um, Double Gleam. That is my intense highlighter for the daytime. But these are still gorgeous nonetheless. I just want to put that out there that if you're expecting these to be wet? Yes. Are you expecting them to be wet with absolutely no texture? That's just not going to happen. So what I opted to do in order to get the most color saturation, you guys be able to see what it looks like in daytime, what it looks like underneath these lights, that kind of thing, give you a little bit of a variety. I took and opened up these curtains. I set my camera down. I swatched them for you. I blended them out to show you what it would look like in daytime. And then I went up against this wall so that it was still natural lighting, but it was a little bit softer. So you could see the color saturation a little bit better. And then on top of that, I went and put them all on my skin for you on each cheek, all six colors. So you guys can see how they look on the skin and how they look on me and NC20 gal. Now, if you guys want to see how this looks on somebody that's a little bit darker skin tone, I'm going to link down below Kelsey's channel. She swatched all these, did comparisons, and she did a really great video, so I'm going to link that down below for you guys. Before I get into the cheek swatches of these, I'm going to go ahead and run through the shades with you, and then we will go and do that. So the first one we're going to talk about is Kitty Cat, and this one is more of a rosy kind of undertone, very cool tone, very beautiful color. I don't think I have anything like this in my collection personally, but I love this shade. The next one is Forever Lit. This one I love. And yes, they're doing a lot of tones right now with this kind of like shift to them. But this is a white color with a blue shift and it's stunning. This one looks so wet to me. I love it. The next one is Forever Young. This one is the first one I put on my cheeks and it was funny because I saw the micro glitter and I stepped back completely and like stopped putting it on. But when you blend it out onto the skin, you don't see as much of that glitter. The next one is Glow Getter. This one is a beautiful champagne gold and I'm thoroughly looking forward to being a lot darker this summer and being able to wear this and it really popping on my skin tone. Right now I can still wear it but it's going to be much prettier when I have a little bit more of a tan going on. Day Gleam. This one is the most unique to me. I do not have anything in my personal collection that is like this. It is like an apricot peach shade. I can definitely wear this one but again I think it's going to be better during this summer for me. If I wear it, I have to just put it on very
very lightly. The last shade in the palette is number 143. This one to me is the smoothest out of them all, which stinks because it is the only one in the palette that I'm going to have to wear on my eyes alone. Even in the summertime, this one's going to be just a little bit too deep for me, but it's okay, I'm gonna use it as a shadow. And if you are darker skin tone, this is going to be gorgeous. Gorgeous on you. All right, enough of that. Let's move on to what you guys really want to see, which is me putting it all over my face. The first one I'm doing is Kitty Cat, and I'm using my Sigma fan brush. I'm just going to melt this into my skin. The next one is Forever Lit. Kitty Cat and Forever Lit. Next up, Forever Young and Glow Getter. Forever Young, Glow Getter, Daydream, 143, Daydream, 143. Okay guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you got this. Let me know what you think of it down below and hit like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're not already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.